Um, this is my first try putting a drawing that I did into something resin that I'm making. Um, also my first video of myself doing any arts and crafts, so bear with me. And please comment if you have any suggestions. I'm willing to take criticism if you're going to be nice about it. Anyway, I'm not going to explain a whole lot. You can go on YouTube if you want to see how it's all supposed to be mixed up and everything, but I did all that already. I have my resin mixed. I have the cutout of the drawing that I'm going to do, and I'm just going to start with a tray, put that drawing in. I might have enough resin to do a matching jar, but I'm not sure. It doesn't matter because I'm focusing on the tray anyway. So first I'm going to just pour a little bit of the clear resin. I picked out a bunch of colors that I think might look with this skull and leaves. I'm going with blues and purples and lots of glitter. I'm just pouring around the edges to make sure that it gets into those edges combo. I'm going to put a little bit more just plain clear in to make sure that purple and teal gets down in those edges. Well, I might have to actually put that picture in soon, I suppose. Well, let me make sure there's stuff in the edges first. I'm going to put some glitter in now. I have this pretty blue kind of teal color. And I'm going to go super random with it. Ooh, one clump. It'll spread out when I pour more of the clear stuff in there. Oh gosh. Well, I didn't mean to put that much in that one area, but I think it'll it'll work out. Ooh. Get some of these like purple foil things also. This one's gonna be super sparkly with the skull in the middle. I kinda like that combo. Kind of mermaid. -y. And okay, I'm gonna put the picture in now before I put so much that you can't see through the bottom. Try to get it in the middle. And like I said, this is the first time I'm doing this, totally experimenting. It might look terrible, it might not work. Um, but I kind of just want to have some of my drawings in there because to me it makes it feel even more original and like. A piece of art rather than just a craft. Not to offend anyone that does the resin all the time, this is just something I feel that I want to do for myself. It's fun for me because mostly I do the drawings anyway. Totally new to this resin thing. It was just kind of fun to learn to make gifts for Christmas. Future birthday presents are gonna be fun. And it's fun to just learn and get to experiment with all the different colors and glitter and everything. Alright, so now I'm going to put some sapphire blue. And for these colors, I'm just using alcohol ink. It was the first thing I bought to decorate the resin with. And it's actually my favorite. Like, I have the mica powders to color the resin, but I still like the alcohol ink the best. And I like using the white with it because it spreads it out and brightens up those colors too. So far it's a lot lighter than I was thinking I was going to go. I guess I could just add more to it. Hmm, I have this pretty kind of rose gold glitter. I don't know if it's going to work with this mix, but we're going to find out. Oh, getting it everywhere. Now I gotta remember everything I put in here so I can match the jar to it. Eh, we'll see how that goes. Oops, spilling it everywhere. And I'm gonna put some more of the purple in here. Oh, I'm excited to see how it goes already. Oh, I think I just got some on the actual paper, so I might be dyeing the picture right now. 
Or maybe the resin is protecting it, I don't know. We shall find out in, well, like 24 hours. Alright, just pouring more clear to keep filling it up. And I'm gonna put some more of the peacock blue. I love this color. Oh, I think I got some more ink on the actual paper because there was a hole there, but that's okay. It might turn out, maybe not. At least we'll know what we can do with the drawings after this. Mm, I'm gonna get a toothpick because the drawing is kind of floating a little right here. Hopefully it doesn't. Well, actually, it might be good if it keeps floating as long as there's some resin on top of it the whole time. We'll see. Putting more in just because there's a dry spot. Oh, I kind of like how that rose gold glitter worked out too. I'm going to put a little bit of black because it's all turning out kind of a lighter overall look than I was going for. Black is my favorite color if, if you count it as a color. That's gonna be good. I'm gonna put some more white just so to spread it out more and brighten, you know, show off the colors. It's almost like adding a whole second color, if that makes sense. Anyway, I'm gonna put some more of this same blue glitter that I used before, just because I think layers is what's gonna make it stand out and be pretty. I've seen some of those videos where they just put more and more and more stuff in there to see like what's the limit for what you can put in your resin. I haven't gotten to that point yet, but I feel like I'd, I'd probably get pretty close sometimes just because it's so much fun. There's so many options. All right, maybe more blue. This is a different blue, it's just blue. And I think I'm gonna do a little bit more resin. It's pretty much full, but if you have it go a little above the edges, it's gonna make sure it's totally full and it has that little edge on the bottom that it can sit on. Oop, my fan is blowing the resin around. It's all good. Okay, I'm gonna, I think that's good. Look at it from the side, it's a little above the edge. I'm gonna do some more black to darken up the whole look some more. Hopefully you'll be able to see the colors pretty good from the other side. And I want more purple. Uh-oh, I overflowed it. Well, I guess we're always learning, hey? Just gonna make sure that the uh, edges are covered though, I guess. There won't be any holes in there. Darn it, this one's gonna be messy. Wow, I really overfilled it. I guess you gotta see the mistakes too, huh? Okay, so kind of just gonna scoop it off. so that I can have a final piece. Try not to stir it up too much so the colors look good. Ooh, it's pretty even when it's spilling out the bottom. So, so far, I mean, as far as the execution, this is resin fail, but, um, Still might turn out pretty. It's just gonna be a mess to clean up. Ooh, that's really pretty though. The mix of what came out. Okay, I need to clean this up a little bit. Okay, I'm back. I think maybe my table was uneven or something. Or maybe I just made a mess, you know. I don't really need a good excuse, it happens. But uh, there's what it looks like 
right now. So I'm going to try to make a jar that matches it. And I'm really excited to see what it looks like when it's dry so I can see if I can actually see that drawing through it. If not, it might just be, you know, a pretty new tray, which is cool. I've made like 10 of these trays so far, never had an issue overfilling it. So of course that's going to happen the first time I try to get it on video. I'm not sure if I have enough resin for this jar, but we're going to try it. I can always mix some and fill some more later, I suppose. But I'm going to end this portion of the video here because the next portion is going to be exactly the same with the pouring of the clear and the putting colors and glitter in there to try to match it to this one. So I will bring it back when this is dry and I can take it out of the mold to see how the picture looks in it. Okay, so all of this is hardened. I'm going to take it out of the molds and see how it looks. We'll try this one first because I'm excited to see how the picture turned out. I think I cleaned it up enough that it's not going to be super messy. Oh, good. So there's that with the picture. You can't totally see it. It's pretty good actually. Like if I was to do flowers or something, it would be okay for it to have little bits of color in and around it. So actually better than I thought it was gonna be. Pretty good. It did float up so there's a little ridge on the bottom. Hopefully that doesn't affect things. And I got some bubbles, but that's not because of the drawing. Cool, so now I'm gonna try some other more detailed drawings to go in there next time. Well, let's see what my matching jar looks like. So there's the lid. Ooh, the inside is pretty. And the jar. This is the hard part. Oh, I have little edges on there I'm gonna have to clean up. bad. So this is how dark I kind of wanted the tray to come out, but I didn't get enough color in there. But still looks good. That's pretty inside too. I like how those rose gold glitter turned out with the colors I picked. All right, so there's that. Pretty good. And then I have these pen molds because whenever there's a little bit of resin left over, you can just make a pen out of it. So I have like a matching pen for every other mold I've made. Ooh, that's pretty too. You can see a little bit of the color in there. It's a lot darker because it only takes a couple drips of the alcohol ink to color this little bit. Oh, there you can see through it that part better. All right, so that's it. I think the drawings inside the resin was a success. I'm gonna keep trying that and see what other ideas and color schemes I can come up with.